Well, you went too far if you went as far as you could go. It's coming back this way. He caught the heaviest fish in Arizona history out of Bartlett Lake in April of 2012. The mammoth flathead catfish made flathead Ed Wilcoxon an overnight celebrity. This is his fish story. I heard this click, 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 and I jumped up out of bed because the big ones, when they hit, they're like, they don't, nobody's going to take that from them, so there's no sense in running. The little guys will hit it and zzz, zzz, they'll run off 10, 15 feet of line. Big guys just hit it and they just hold on to it. Nobody's taking it. I went, wow, that's a big one. So I jumped up and I set the, I got, got the line to pull out and I let it run a little bit and I set it. And when I set it, I went, oh my God, this was a pig. Cause I can, you know, I've caught enough big ones. I know when I set that rod and that thing just, whoa, just lost. I said, whoa, that didn't move. And I'm like, whoa. And so I, I start reeling up on it and it runs over and runs into a tree. Starts dragging line off and runs into a tree on me. And I was like, boom, oh, the weight hit, and boom, oh, the weight hit, and boom, the weight hit again. Third time it come out of the tree. So I'm kind of scrambling to get him up, you know, get him up above the water a little bit. And so I got him above the water. I mean, you know, he's probably still down 15 feet, and I, but he's not getting in trees. So I, you know, I had him, I just kind of letting him wear out. You got to let him wear out a little bit. You bring him in hot, bring him to the surface, and they just ripped a hook out of your mouth. Just they're so powerful when you get them close to the surface. So you got to let the big ones tire out. So I'm kind of holding them, letting them tire out. After about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I started bringing him up to the surface, see what he looked like. You know, and he's running around down there, really can't do nothing. I brought him up to the side of the boat and I had the lights on. He only had one hook right in the corner of his mouth. I could see meat just over the hook. So I backed the drag way off. I'm like, oh my God. You know, because he rips right then, he lost him. It's just another fish story, which we've all got a bunch of those. And so I backed the drag way off and he started pulling the line. I'm like, okay, this, we're going to be here a minute now. I got a bad hook set. I, I'm not going to get this guy in under force. It's gonna, he's just going to have to give up. So another 15, 20 minutes of playing with this guy like that, I finally get him around to the front of the boat. And I take the lip grippers out. I stab the lip grippers on him because he was tired, so he kind of opened his mouth up. And I'm holding the pole through the front of the gate, and I'm, my heart's just thumping. I'm seeing the size of this guy. I'm going, oh, my God, this is, one, this is my biggest ever. So I stab the lip gripper down on him. When I hit him, the lip, he kind of moved, and I missed with the lip gripper. And it hit him in the end of the nose, and that really made him mad. He shot off about 30 feet because the drag was set light. I'm like, oh, God, stop, please. And finally he stopped. And so I reeled him back in. I lip gripped him the next time when I got him back up after about 10 minutes or five minutes later. I lip gripped him. I drug him on the front of the boat, and I just kept dragging and kept dragging. I'm like, oh, my God, what is this? Biggest fish I've ever had on a boat. I know it was. And so I picked up my, I got a scale on it. I picked my scale up. I looked at it. It said 75 pounds. I went. Wait a minute, Colorado record's only 74 something. I got a record, so I picked him up again just to make sure I wasn't imagining. And I had a lot of adrenaline going, so I picked that fish up pretty easy. And I got him up the second time, I'm like, oh my God, it is 75 pounds. And my buddy Bill was down the way parked. I, Bill, Bill! <laughs> they wasn't hearing no part of it, so I finally got the boat up and started and went over to him, and they're like, oh my God, it is. That's, that's a record. We took it to the marina, it weighed 77.23 unofficially at the marina. By the time I'd got it to game and fish up on Cave Creek Road, it weighed uh, 76.54. People don't understand how big this fish actually was unless you see it. You're like, no, that's not real. That's it. It was real. <laughs>